Hi, today I'm going to be taking you through the process of logging into Cloud Conformity for the first time and linking your first AWS account. So at this point, I've already registered for the tool and verified my email address and I've entered my email account here and my password. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now, ordinarily, when you log into Cloud Conformity, you're presented with the consolidated dashboard which gives you an overview of all of your infrastructure with the best practice violations, along with the threat monitoring and a few other things as well. But as this is the first time I'm logging in, I haven't actually linked any AWS accounts, so there's no information to display. And I'm presented directly with the add a new account screen. And this is the first step of adding my first AWS account. So I need to label this. I'm going to call it demo account, and let's imagine it's a production environment and click next. Now I need to choose my authentication type. There's two options here, automated setup using a cloud formation, which is recommended or a more manual setup using cross account access. The reason cloud formation is recommended is first, well, it will be much easier to set up. There are less steps. And next, uh, using CloudFormation gives us the possibility to update this policy to new and improved versions as we release updates and make sure the policy is as secure as it can be. So I'm going to go as recommended and click next. Now, this basically gives me some step by step instructions on how to configure my account with CloudFormation. So I've already actually signed into my AWS account and uh, this uh, CloudFormation template, I invite you to and strongly recommend uh, that you check it out. It's uh, essentially all of the permissions that we require to properly audit your account and make sure everything works. It's all read only, there's nothing right. Um, so yeah, please do get in touch with us if you have any concerns or questions about it. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the CloudFormation stack. Now this is the, um, the same template that I just showed you, uh, right, uh, right here. And I need to, uh, check this box and simply hit create. You should note that the account ID and external ID are pre-populated on this page and they should not be modified. So at this point, I've given it, given it about a minute or so and the create has been successful. And next, I need to copy the cloud conformity role ARN value and then paste it right here and hit next. And that's it. Now, of course, I'll also invite you to check out our privacy policy and terms and conditions, and you should definitely try the um, advanced features that are included in your trial.